Over the last 20 years, our library has been more than just a building to house books. It's a magical home to dreams, mystery, fantasy, reality, suspense, to comedy and drama. A citadel to eons of learning, exploring, discovery, travel, and wonder. And where did this all begin? Simply with a vision and the dedication to see it through. Groundbreaking, signaling the start of construction. But for our new library, it started long before this day with a group of people so dedicated they willingly gave hundreds of hours to attend meetings, campaigns, and fundraisers, all in an effort to fulfill a single goal, to build a center of knowledge for the people of West Allis. All those involved in bringing about this project, the groundbreaking proves to be the crest of their journey. Now the building is ready to take shape. This is really a historic day in West Dallas. Your library, your library is the heart of the community. It is the greatest asset your community has as far as education and culture is concerned. This new facility designed for the 21st century, will become an integral part of the city. It epitomizes the new growth presently taking place in West Dallas. This new facility will serve as a focal point, a symbol of opportunity for the citizens of West Dallas. Its resources are available to the young, the old, the rich, and the poor on an equal basis. The library will serve as a source of civic pride and as an indicator to visitors of the continuing vitality of West Allis, a true center of opportunity. For everyone, whatever their age or lifestyle, the library is truly the center of opportunity. More important, the library is a symbol of the future generations of this entire community, a place to read a value that we must continue to search for. The West Dallas Public Library opened on August 14th, 1989. This majestic building has not only enhanced the community, but will be a state-of-the-art library for many years to come that will benefit all citizens of West Dallas. The facility itself is certainly grand. There's 47,000 square feet with 160,000 volumes in it. But it's not the building, it's the participation by the public in what's inside of this building. A library facility such as this uh, does provide something that's uniquely human, and that's the quest for knowledge. I think this facility uh, really expresses the spirit of this community, of sharing and working together. To the staff members who participated actively in planning this facility by their recommendations and suggestions, to the staff members who made the transition easier by explaining and reassuring the public, sometimes working in buildings that they themselves were very devoted to. To the staff members who worked out the logistics of moving three libraries into one and determined not only what goes where, but how much space it was going to need in the future and how much growth might be expected to the staff members who literally sorted 
and then packed by hand all the supplies, equipment, and other paraphernalia accumulated over many years <clears throat> to go or be left behind and made very tough decisions for themselves and then had to go on the other end and unpack and find a new home for all that they had taken with them. To the staff members who completed a very complicated move in two weeks and then were ready to smile and open those doors and greet people. To those staff who welcomed the public to the new quarters and tried to make them feel at home and comfortable in the new building that was theirs, to those staff members I owe a tremendous debt of gratitude. And because our staff is a part of a city staff and the other departments all helped us do these things, public works, purchasing, administration, the legal department, you go down the line, there wasn't anyone in the city who wasn't involved in this building in some way. And they did it all for the citizens. To all of them, I say a job well done. We have strong local government, a strong public school system, strong churches and religious institutions, a strong health department, a strong fire department, a strong police department, and strong civic and service organizations. And now we have strengthened our public library with this beautiful new building. It is with a great deal of pride that I join you as citizens of our great nation in the dedication of our library's Constitution Room. The meeting room in our library is certainly one of the most appropriate places to carry a reference to our nation's Constitution. It is my hope that the new Constitution Room will remind us of our wonderful heritage and encourage us to utilize in the fullest the opportunities available at our new West Ellis Library. And I would ask that the Library Board, when they issue any rules for this room, that the first part of the meeting will require that they pledge allegiance to the flag. We now have books on cassette, and books on cassette are uh, records, I'm sorry, cassettes read by professional uh, performers. Also, the, uh, the library is uh, investing in a lot more um, compact disc material. Uh, we now have a lot of uh, CDs and before we'd have had uh, records and so those are things that people like to like to check out. So we try to stay current, we try to stay with it um, and I think with uh, the video cassettes too we've done a great deal in keeping up with the needs of the clientele and we just started a program with the Friends of the Library called Books for Babies and it's a cooperative effort with uh, West Dallas Memorial Hospital so that every baby born at that hospital gets a letter from me and a bibliography from for the parents and a free book and in that letter we're suggesting that parents may want to interest their children in reading at a very early age essentially we're saying the family that reads together stays together so we get them started right off the top then we have uh, story programs for preschoolers, and those are very, very popular. And then as soon as the summer comes around, we have a mammoth summer library program. Uh, we just concluded the summer library program for 1993 called Go Wild Read, and it was the most popular summer library program in the history of this library. We had thousands of children participating. They read as a, a total of 31,000 books. Uh, to uh, participate in the program. By the summer of 1994, the old card catalog will no longer be with us. At that point, we will have computer terminals spread throughout the building, both in the adult and children's area. With their library card from the Milwaukee Federated Library System, or MCFLIS, um, a patron can take, a West Dallas patron can take their library card and go to any 20, of 27 uh, library facilities in Milwaukee County. Uh, most areas of the country do not ha have that kind of cooperation. 
So our patrons are very, very fortunate. The library was dedicated in August of 1989. Uh, circulation at this building has been at a record level. Uh, virtually every month since the library opened has been at a record uh, setting pace. This is the most used source of library learning in Milwaukee County. 2,111,000 patrons have been our guests. We of the board are confident that this pace of activity will continue to grow as we travel along the highway again into the year 2000 and far beyond. A dream was begun, and through a great deal of effort, proposals, rejections, ups, downs, new ideas, and end of the hours, this great piece of architecture was begun. Today we come together to celebrate its five years in our new library. It's a, it's a building for all people. And talk about how would you like to have a business and say after five years I had two million people coming to my place. <laughs> That's a good business. This proclamation is issued on today, September 10th, 1994. The West Dallas Public Library will celebrate its fifth anniversary commemora commem commemorating the dedication of its new facility. And whereas many were instrumental in bringing this new building project to fruition, including former and current library board member, city elected officials, library and city staff, the Citizen Planning Committee, Library Ad Hoc Task Force, Library Design Committee, professional library consultants, and funding efforts by the West Dallas Library Foundation. And whereas public libraries are an important source of support for a community's educational aspirations, as the West Dallas Public Library looks to the future, it will continue to play a major role in providing a friendly, comfortable, state-of-the-art facility where learning is enjoyable and available for all the citizens, young and old. Now, therefore, may it be known that I, John Turk, Mayor of the City of West Dallas, State of Wisconsin, do hereby proclaim Saturday, September 10, 1994, as West Dallas Public Library Day in West Dallas on the celebration of its fifth anniversary. I urge all citizens to join with me in publicly recognizing and thanking the West Dallas Public Library and its staff for the dedication and commitment shown to the community and each patron in the use of this most important informational resource center. Not only was I impressed with the architecture and how lovely the building was, but how well it was designed as a library. How it invited people in to use it, it welcomed people, and the record stands for itself. We are the busiest library in the county. As we face the next five, ten years, it will be through their efforts and with your help that we will meet your goals. The success of this library has gone way beyond all expectations. Patronage has increased tremendously. Circulation has surpassed all the libraries in the federated system, including the main library. It is not only the most beautiful building in West Dallas, also the busiest. And of course, the location is the absolute best. Thanks to a dedicated staff, because without them, we could not have a success story written today. This library is a lasting memorial to the citizens of West Dallas. And I don't know if I should say this or not, but again, I say this library is yours. Use it. The online catalog and the new circulation system uh, we're funded through the county, and it is an integrated library system where all of the libraries, all the public libraries in the county are now online. The summer reading program uh, is a wonderful program that involves well over 2,000 kids in the pro uh, throughout the summer. Actual programming begins in January. Uh, the planning stages start with meetings within uh, the county with children's librarians, all contributing ideas to how they can complete a successful program. We draw upon all the different ideas of all the different people, and then we develop our own local programs around those ideas. We also enhance that with uh, story hour programs throughout the year. We have lots of special events for kids, uh, 
at different times during the year, uh, building on the idea of trying to keep children actively involved in the summer in the library and in the reading. We have a lot of different types of media available for the public. We uh, have videotape, we have audio tape, we have books on tape now. Uh, we've expanded those from just classic titles to popular materials. We average over 1,200 people a day during the week. On Sundays, about 1,000 people in four hours. Uh, families are big. It's one of the places where families can go and there's something for everyone there. We do provide access to the internet for anyone in this building for free. We do care very much about the people that come in here and we spend a lot of time trying to make the library as comfortable for everyone as possible. So as we make these changes, we're thinking of people who may have disabilities or even elderly people even myself, who doesn't necessarily like to crawl down on the floor to reach things. So we're slowly making changes where it'll be easier for everyone to access the materials that we have in this library. On the way down here, mentioning children, we did walk the staircase, the circular staircase, and I know there's an interesting story there because we got this beautiful mural on, on uh, that staircase now. How we're, did that happen? We're very excited about that. An elderly lady called me up. She wanted to give a gift to the library. She was thinking of children's books. I was thinking of something more permanent than that that would be fun. And between our conversations, we came up with the idea of some artwork. I did locate a professional mural painter, and working with the staff, we decided to go with the theme of rainforest. And we're really excited because the bottom of the mural is the water and the pond where the rainforest animals live that live with water. And then as you go up the stairs, you go up in the sky. And the top is the top of the sky, and the birds that, that live in the rainforest in the top of the sky. Children have a ball coming in, identifying the animals are trying to. And the mural painter did hide a little tiny ant in the mural somewhere that the children can try to find. We do have three outdoor book drops that people can return any items to from the library, anything, DVDs, video, CDs, at any time, day or night. We have over 206,000 items. We have over 7,000 CD for music products. Mm -hmm. We have over 5,000 videotapes. We have new shelving for our CDs and we're very excited about that. Again, we're trying to use our existing space in a better way. Uh, so we were able to shelve our 7,000 CDs in the same space but with more space left over. I just want to remind people to get a library card. Come and get a library card and enjoy your library. We're waiting for them to come on over. This summer, children can embark on a fun-filled mission with knights, dragons, and princesses. A quest found only at the West Dallas Public Library. If you seek adventure and excitement, thrills and chills, or if you want to go a little wild this summer, this is the place to be. Come on, follow me. But be ready, anything and everything can happen. This is the place, all right. It may look like the library, but with your help this summer, we'll transform it into a tropical rainforest. All you have to do is go wild, read. What do stalactites, bats, a rock croc, a cave map, and gold nuggets have to do with reading? They're all part of Rock and Read, the 1994 summer reading program at the West Dallas Public Library. Spectacular Summer, the 1995 Summer Reading Program at the West Dallas Public Library. If you have the courage to dive into reading this summer, 
head down to the children's department of the West Dallas Public Library. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up and be a part of the most stupendous, colossal, tremendous summer reading program on the face of the earth. <laughs> Howdy, partners. The name's Blake McNasty, but you can call me Snake, as I've been known to be meaner than a rattlesnake on a hot summer's day. I hear they call you the kids. Well, I bet you kids are wondering what in tarnation I'm doing here. Well, I'm here to tell you about something that's going on out west. West Dallas, that is, at the public library something called Zap into the Past. Oceans of the world. On the surface, a vast, lifeless wasteland. But a closer look, a look beneath the surface, reveals a world teeming with life. Join me in an exploration of the seas, an adventure which you can start at the West Dallas Public Library. This summer, make waves, read. in the sky. It's a very large bird. No, it's a very small plane. No, it's Super Travel Man. Yes, Super Travel Man. More powerful than a WWF pro wrestler. Faster than an inline skater. Able to leap from Game Boy to PlayStation in a single bound. Super Travel Man circles the globe, helping travelers in need. Hi, kids. I'm here to help you on your trip around the world. What do you mean, what trip? Your trip around the world. You know, circling the globe. Haven't you guys been to the West Dallas Public Library yet? Well, that's where the trip starts. This summer, it's time to sign up and take off with the West Dallas Public Library summer reading program. Go Global, read! <laughs> Emo, are the astrophysics tracking belts locked in place? Astrophysics tracking belts in place, Professor. Are the buffer shields powered full? <laughs> Check on the buffer shields, Professor Nova. Anti-gravity thrusters ready to propel us? <laughs> All systems are go! Then, Emo, it is time for us to hyperleap into tomorrow. Wait, let's look before we leave, Professor. It looks like we forgot one thing. Forgot one thing? What in Ursa Major are you talking about, Emo? We forgot our ticket. No! Our ticket? Sure! Everyone knows that to visit the future, you need a ticket to tomorrow! Once, not so very long ago, there were two children who decided to undertake a quest to go on a reading road trip. 
Oh, along their journey, they encountered mystical and magical creatures who helped them arrive at their destination, which in fact was the West Ellis Public Library. And would you believe, along the way, the children discovered that they could earn prizes by reading books. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's race. Today we have four outstanding runners going head to head in a battle for prizes from the West Alice Public Library. Hi, boys and girls, I'm Sprocket, and this is my friend Tootsie. Hello! We want to tell you all about an exciting opportunity for kids of all ages this summer at the West Alice Public Library. We sure do, Sprocket! But first, did you hear why the librarian slipped and fell at the library? No, I, I didn't. She was in the non-friction section. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to this edition of At Your Library. I'm Pat Campbell, head of the Children's Department at the West Dallas Public Library. I would like to tell you about the summer reading program for children at the West Dallas Public Library. The theme this year is Discover New Trails at Your Library. Oh, so it's you. I'm glad you're all here. Allow me to introduce myself. The name is Kate. Kate, T-H-E, great. People just call me Kate the Great. Maybe you haven't heard about me. You probably know my nephew, Nate. Never mind about him. He's just a kid who solves mysteries. I like to solve mysteries, too. Especially mysteries you find in library books at the West Dallas Library. Hello, boys and girls. I'm here to tell you about the upcoming summer reading program at the West Dallas Public Library. And since the name of the program is Catch a Reading Bug, I've invited two actual bugs to help me tell you about what will be going on this summer at the West Dallas Public Library. First, we'll tell you our name. My name is Mrs. Graff, and I am a children's librarian at the West Dallas Public Library. And now you, Bee, what is your name? My name is Bill Dee Dee, the Bumblebee. The West Dallas Public Library Summer Reading Program is full of adventure, suspense, mystery, excitement, laughter, and above all, wonder, all inside the cover of a book. Here's what some of our friends are saying about the wonder of reading and the Summer Reading Program. All those who enter, young and old, share in the joy with each turn of a page or the flash of an image on a screen. Our library is a world of knowledge, entertainment, fascination, and enlightenment. Today, our library is a building that houses so much more than just books. It's a monument to our past and future. <laughs> 